Welcome to this Building Custom Menus How-To. In this video how-to, I'm going to demonstrate how to customize a WordPress menu system. Typically, websites have a main navigation menu that appears somewhere at the top of every web page and is used to navigate around the website. Additionally and optionally, depending on your WordPress website's theme, it may support a top-level menu along the very top of your website, a footer menu along the bottom, and a custom menu widget for the sidebars. By default, WordPress builds your menu system for you. When you add a page, WordPress will automatically add it to the menu based upon the web page's order, with drop-down menus for nested or child pages. The title of the page is the text for the menu item. However, most themes only show pages, not categories. So, if you want other than the defaults, you need to use the custom menus feature. Let's see how incredibly easy that is. So here's my website. It's a live website. And we have home, coaching, assistance, technologies, and contact. So we'll go to the dashboard. And like I said, it's a live website. That was kind of slow. Sometimes that happens. Under appearance, we see menus. And here's the menus administration page. So over here we have the theme locations. This particular theme that I'm using has three menu locations, the primary, the top, and the footer. Currently it only has that main menu that we just saw, which is defined here, is named the main menu, we can delete it here, and then here is the menu you just saw, and there's the nested pages. Over here is a section for adding custom links. If for some reason on your website you wanted to have um, a menu that went off to say Google, you would type google.com in there, give it an optional label there, say Google, and then you would add it to your menu. You always want to have pages, I believe, on your on your menu. These are the most recent ones. If you do view all, you'll notice there's this one called home colon home. That's so you can put this home page in there. You'll notice it's custom. But then there's all the other pages on this website. In this particular theme that I'm using, there are also features, testimonials, and categories. So it doesn't have to just be a page, but it could be a category like my WordPress postings. I have a testimonial feature, feature and a features feature, and those are also addable to a menu. So over here we have our menu definition. So let's add a new one. So we click this plus. We'll call this new menu www and say create menu. Across the top here it says that the WW menu has been successfully created and you can see that we have it here. Both menus are here. So here's the main menu again. And you can have as many as you want, keep them in the background, use them for special times of the year, special events. Mm -hmm. That's all completely customizable for whatever your needs are. So here's our www menu. Now let's go and add websites, web hosting, and I believe there's another one with W here. WordPress. Add them to the menu. And there we are. So let's save this menu. And let's add it as a top menu and as a footer. And save it. Okay, now let's go to the website and see what we did. Now 
Now you'll notice there's this new menu bar across the top, which isn't styled, so it's black and green. That's the defaults. And then if we look along the bottom, we have that same menu along the bottom. It's not what I want, but for demonstration purposes, that does the trick. Now we'll also look over here in the sidebar and we'll notice it goes from search to post. We're going to go over back to the dashboard. And this time we're going to take a shortcut. We're going to go right to widgets and from now on we're going to go directly to menus too. But I wanted to demonstrate the dashboard as, as the way to go because not all themes have their shortcuts. So now we're going to go to the widgets. Widgets are a feature of WordPress that allow you to change how the website looks. So here's a widget called Custom Menu. I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it over and I'm going to put it in the primary sidebar between Search and the Post. And I'm going to give it a title of www. And instead of putting the main menu in there, I'm going to put www in there and I'm going to save it. Okay, now we're going to go back to the website, and we see we still have our menu along the top, our main navigation menu there that was originally there, and now you'll notice you have this widget along the side called www with the three links on there to our pages. And of course we still have it along the bottom, these three. So there you see the three places where we added that new menu to the website. Now let's go back to menus using the shortcut this time instead of going through the dashboard and let's take it off the top how do I get rid of it? I just wanted to go blank space okay so now there's no top menu we didn't want that okay let's see how we can edit each menu item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and take all of these essential comp essentially compound words. I'm going to make this one word into two. Web hosting into one. And WordPress into two. If I add in a space, I'm going to save the menu. And we're only going to see this in the footer and the sidebar now as I've taken it out of the top menu. So no top menu. Over here in the sidebar, we see that our compound words are, are backwards, basically. And you'll see that it's reflected here. So that's how you edit what you see on menu items. Because sometimes you might have a, a long name for the page and you don't want to take up a lot of space, or you might want to give the menu item a different, totally different name than what the name of the web page is. So how do you delete one of these? Well, that's pretty simple. Press remove. Save menu. And let's make it multi-level. I'm going to take this web hosting menu item. You'll notice when the cursor is over it, it turns into a four-headed arrow. And I'm going to drag it to the right. Again, save the menu. And now, let's go back to the website and see that in the sidebar, we have only two items and that they're nested. There's a hierarchy there. And in the footer, you'll notice this theme's footer does not support a hierarchy of menus. We just get the one website's menu item. So that's it. That's really all there is to customizing your WordPress website's menus. It's just web easy.